you'll likely be horrified by this information. But in Australia, the government pays ordinary people to kill cats. Also, foxes, pigs, and dingo dogs. By the way, killed dogs are worth the most. But perhaps the most incredible thing is that Australians are even paid to kill kangaroos. What's going on there in Australia? Let's figure it out. You're on the Wild World channel. And today we'll uncover the harsh measures to control invasive species in Australia, from cats and pigs to kangaroos. Subscribe to the channel and don't miss our dive into this complex and controversial aspect of nature conservation. In short, the reason is that some animals have a sharply negative impact on other species and the land as a whole. Yes, animal rights activists kill a lot of animals in Australia, for example, in 24 days in one national park, 6,000 wild buffalo, horses, donkeys and pigs were killed. Experts claim that Australia's ecosystem is in such bad shape that intervention is simply necessary. But what led to the ecosystem breaking down? First, the continent's isolation played a role. Australia's flora and fauna are truly unique and poorly tolerate anything foreign. Secondly, an enormous number of invasive species inhabit this place. How did they get here? The ways were different. Some animals were brought in deliberately, some accidentally. As a result, a real catastrophe occurred. The state has to spend $25 billion a year to get rid of pests. The most unwanted animals requiring very large expenditures include cats, rabbits, fire ants, pigs, and foxes. Of course, no one gets rid of animals uncontrollably. Every year, officials conduct surveys using helicopters and planes. Then annual quotas are set for the species and number of animals that can be killed. For example, in 2023, it was allowed to destroy about 5 million kangaroos. This fact probably surprised many as kangaroos are not an invasive species at all. Shouldn't people be trying their best to preserve native species? We'll return to this question later. Now let's figure out what's wrong with all these animals that are considered undesirable in Australia. Let's list them. These are feral cats, wild dogs, feral goats, foxes, hares, rabbits, buffaloes, wild pigs, donkeys, horses, and camels. Feral cats, for example, kill 750,000 birds a day in Australia. Cats cover 99.8% of the continent's territory, with a population reaching 6.3 million individuals. To give you an idea, that's one cat for every four square kilometers. These animals pose a deadly danger to local species that evolved without felines and have no idea how to protect themselves from them. For this reason, the government invests millions in programs to eradicate feral cats, but the animals seem to be not only not giving up, but winning. In September 2023, war was officially declared on cats. Now, amateur hunters can independently engage in destroying animals caught in the wild. This is a new wave of measures that, according to the government, should help. Previously, for example, they used this method. Poison sausage was scattered everywhere, both by hand and from planes, 50 pieces per square kilometer. Now the government has promised to allocate $5 million to support community groups that can hunt cats, where scattered sausage didn't bring results. The price tag is 10 Australian dollars per animal. The same price tag is on pigs. Wild pigs occupy 45% of Australia's territory. Their numbers fluctuating from two to four million depending on the season. The damage they cause annually to agriculture is estimated at 106.5 million US dollars. And that's not counting the damage to the environment as a whole. Wild pigs also spread dangerous diseases. The National Feral Pig Action Plan involves using several methods to control animal numbers simultaneously, such as shooting, baiting, and trapping. At least 70% of the population needs to be destroyed. There's a lot of work. In general, the main goal is to maximize the reduction of wild pig numbers and maintain the achieved level for a long time. You can't stop when doing such work. Otherwise, the animals will return and everything will have to start over. Pig hunting has its peculiarities. For instance, while the crop is not yet ripe, animals are caught using baits and traps. When pigs find what to eat without baits, people start aerial shooting. In one session, which lasts about five hours, about 431 pigs are destroyed over an area of more than 32 square kilometers. Now, let's move on to the cane toad. This is another actively spreading invasive pest in Australia. There are about 200 million cane toads here. Due to their toxicity, they pose a threat to 75 native species. 
Animals that decide to eat these toads inevitably get poisoned, and the cane toads themselves eat everything that can fit in their mouth. By the way, the government doesn't pay for the destruction of these animals yet. But that's for now. Currently, Australians living where these toads inhabit are simply asked to participate in a campaign to destroy them. It's also worth mentioning dingo dogs. The government pays $120 US dollars per individual. The destruction of dingoes in Australia became possible since about 200 years ago when European cattle breeders began farming on the continent. The government has already spent millions to support dingo control programs. Dogs are poisoned, trapped and shot. Ecologists are convinced all this will not bring results. Dingoes still attack domestic livestock, and attempts to control dogs only worsen the situation even more. And now the main thing, kangaroos, a native species that nevertheless is also being destroyed. The main reason is that some kangaroo species are so numerous that they simply need to be destroyed to maintain a stable population and to prevent their own suffering when they compete with domestic livestock for food and water. This is especially true during drought periods. Moreover, kangaroo numbers need to be controlled to protect other endangered species. See you soon!